my beloved ladies and gentlemen, my dear W124 friends, fans, owners, and subscribers, of course, this is Ivica speaking and you're watching another video on this channel Fix Your Mercedes. And in this video I just wanted to tell you how much I paid for the repairs for my car. Before starting this video, I would like to thank one of uh, my subscribers for his contribution to my previous video on the EHA. It's a subscriber from Estonia. So I'm going to greet him now in his own language. Tauno aite panuse est minu eha se tehtud videole. Paliudest tervitus test Serbias. And let's look at it now. In this video, we are going to be talking about how much I paid for the repair. At first, I didn't know what to do exactly, so I wanted uh, to decrease my fuel consumption. And as I read, they said that uh, the potentiometer makes uh, the, con the consumption to be less, decreases it. So, well, my car was uh, over uh, 300,000 kilometers on the clock, so the potentiometer had to be replaced sooner or later. And I decided myself uh, for uh, the potentiometer from Germany, from Darmstadt. And maybe in some other videos I'm going to be talking why. I, but now we're talking about how much I paid for the parts. The potentiometer cost me $46.70. The prices are in dollars, in US dollars. As I replaced the part, I felt no such improvement, to be honest. Uh, I still had that problem with stalling the car when uh, my engine was warm, I had uh, warm starting issues. So, I knew it was about the fuel accumulator. I bought the fuel accumulator from uh, the USA and I paid for it $162.37. But the problem was uh, that uh, my sensor plate was skew and uh, so so it uh, didn't move uh, freely, uh, like uh, this. Okay, that was solved, and from that, uh, that on, I never had uh, any problems with uh, starting a warm car. <sighs> the fuel consumption was very, Hi. So the next thing I read that uh, increases the fuel consumption was the Lambda Probe. So now I wanted to buy a brand new one. Everything, uh, all these parts are from Bosch. So I bought the Lambda Probe and I paid for it $65.98. The next 
thing on the list was was the injectors, the injectors and holders. I paid for them one hundred sixty four dollars forty eight cents. But I still couldn't make my idle smooth, and one moment I didn't know what to do, how and what suddenly, and. I said to myself, if you don't want, if you don't know what and how, then start from the beginning. And that beginning was the pressure gauge. I measured uh, the pressure and the working pressure was far, far below. It was uh, uh, about, as I remember, well, three bar. Yes, it was uh, something like 3.1 bar. And uh, the row pressure were, was 3.5. And uh, as uh, I uh, uh, pressed the throttle lever, it fell to one bar. And it comes, it leads me to the other issue, and it was the fuel pressure regulator. I paid for it $268.91. Okay, now I had this uh, working pressure steady, but the next thing I felt, it was the gas. Somewhere, uh, passenger uh, right passenger wheel. I I sm I smelled gas, uh, gas fumes, and <laughs> it ca came to that uh, that uh, I was, so to speak, washing the streets with gas. So, I had to replace the fuel pump. It was leaky and uh, bad. I bought the new one and I paid $87.93. And the next and the, oh, so to speak, the last thing was the fuel pump filter. I paid $5.28 for it. And of course, uh, now is the, is the last thing concerning the fuel injection. It was Cranky's breather hoses. And I think I paid for these parts something about uh, 30 dollars and that leads us to the overall price in us dollars 831 dollars 65 cents what that's how much i paid for these parts it's not cheap at all so to speak, uh, maybe I could have found uh, at lower costs, but this is uh, something like my warranty that uh, I am going to drive my car and uh, so to speak without any issues. And that how, that's how it is until now. And <laughs> as you know, I haven't solved all the issues on my car until I, uh, I er erased that code that was about the O2 sensor. Now my car works flawlessly. And I'm, I'm very happy for it. I can't believe it. 
<laughs> and I want to say here that uh, my problem is not going to solve yours. There are also some uh, minor things. The ICV, it had to be cleaned. And that's pretty much it. Yes. I remember. Okay, this was a short video. I just wanted to tell you that uh, maybe sometimes as you ask me for this or that, uh, what is my issue, I can't uh, tell you that. Because as for me, I have informed myself when to replace what. And uh, that's, that's it. I just followed the instructions and I got my car super well operated. That's pretty much it. Well, if you liked this video, then please like it, share it, comment it, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, my dear, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. And till the next video, happy Mercedes. -ing. Bye. Hey, wait, have a great day.